CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. It was standing room only in the souvenir shops on Government Street today, and there's a convoy of tour buses heading back and forth to Butchard Gardens and elsewhere. You could say the tourism industry's ship has come in, five of them, in fact, on the single busiest day of a record cruise ship season. As many as 12,000 people are on board those ships, and most of them will come ashore and will come here to spend money. And businesses are waiting with open arms. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. They come by the thousands. Ushered right into downtown Victoria. <laughs> Armed with cameras, rain gear, and a few short hours. They also do tours in there, so if you go in, they'll, they'll show you around. Wilma and George are from Arizona. So far today, we've just hit the shops. I Spending their time and American dollars. I like that little artsy, craftsy place that are, you know, family owned rather than the big merchandise that's hawked by all of the other stores. <laughs> She's come to the right place. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Victoria hasn't seen this many cruise ships in one day since 2008, and more than 10,000 tourists in 24 hours means big business, and downtown is ready. All of our businesses have acted accordingly. They've added staff. They've got maybe some special demonstrations, some special exhibits, something that is just making those passengers feel a little bit more welcome. Plus shuttle buses, this new centralized drop-off area, free Wi-Fi, and even concierge services. I would say it puts it through the roof. And the spin-off benefits don't end there. The stevedoring and the longshoremen working on the ships themselves, all the bus companies and all the, the pedicab companies and all the other people that are supporting the gift shops and all the activity that's happening here. And all over the South Island. We went to the gardens. Oh, it was fabulous. They yeah, loved it. We saw your beautiful city. We just rode our carts through the city and we loved it. Great reviews from all, whether on wheels, on foot, or on four of them. That looks like something fun to play with. No! <laughs> Many already planning their return. I'll come back here. This is beautiful. I'd like to come back. We're really hoping to see return visitors as well, because it's great to have them for a snapshot of Victoria, but we'd really like to have them coming back to, um, to have a more quality long-term stay. We like it so much here from what we've seen. We were talking about it. We're planning to come back and spend a few days here. As the town crier waves goodbye, this throng of guests returns to their ship to make room for yet another. Well, that is music to our ears. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live in the Inner Harbor with more. Stephanie, uh, still busy down there. Have all the ships arrived? It is incredibly busy down here. Right now, there's only one ship in town. Two of them have already left. But as you can see, there's still lots of people milling around. There's one coming in at 6 o'clock, one coming in at 6.30. So that's another 5,000 people that will be in Victoria's downtown tonight. So it's going to be uh, very, very busy. So if you're downtown tonight, make sure you say hello to some of our guests and uh, help them on their way, point them in the right direction. I was just speaking to some people that were here and directed them to one of my favorite restaurants. So it's a good day. It's a good day to be a business in downtown Victoria. You betcha, Stephanie. Thank you. You're welcome. We will make them welcome.